it's this pretty the um the honeycomb plastic is broken but it's two pieces you um just clip some of those clips here yeah, but this one is the honeycomb not broken but these you know it's missing that um thing there that bit down there yeah but you can, just, you can put that one in there that one's a completely different car, but you could sell it to some um, man cave guy or swap it for a complete one. The bumpers are good. And um, yeah, it's got four mats, the other ones in the car. Okay, next bit. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Here's the car, 1975. Mercedes Benz 450SC. Um, looks a bit funny without the grill and the headlights on, but the grill, the bumper is in good condition. Well, the grill will be once it's fixed. Um, it's very straight, straight as car. And um, we'll just have a walk around and show you a few of the bits. Um, we'll go over everything, I hope. Um, we might as well start at the back. Hasn't got much rust at all. It's a good starting point for any project. Um, this looks bad. The uh, rusty tip of the exhaust pipe, but the whole exhaust system is in very good condition. I'll get under there. I hope you can see. But I'll get under the other side too in a minute. But it's all it's all pretty good. Thank you. Got a tow bar obviously. Um, I might jack it up and take a wheel off. I'll do this in clips so you can see right under it. Um, the boot rubbers are inside. So, boot opens. Like that. You can see the original gold there. I learned that. Um, I bought this car as a project, but I really have got too many projects. And, um, I've got to let it go to someone else. There's no rust down there. It's all good, the factory jack. I've got the spare wheel, I'll show you that in a minute. Spare wheel area. It's all pretty good. Um, over here there was a rust repair done. And that's why the fuel pump was taken out and disconnected the fuel line so oh, gas tank's behind there so yeah uh, I'll show you that there is a hole there because there's no um, rubbers around the boot it had it filled up with water but so I put that hole there so, uh, and then I put a tarp up there and, and it all came good that's yeah, all good around there all good. Um, there are a couple of holes either side of the. I just shut that. Either side of the back window, but they're not bogged up. And um, a couple of these there. And uh, I took a photo of it before put some primer on it so you'll be able to see what it looks like underneath there that bit there that's about all I could see and uh, this side straight is um, and the rust repair that I mentioned a minute ago is, was down here somebody's done that, it's all steel no beginnings of a repair there. Let's just get around there. Oh, all the wheels have got no curbing damage on them. They're all good. It's got uh, Dunlop Daytona tyres. I'm not sure how old they are, but they're all good, good tread on them. I'll get them here. I hope this lights up. Probably might be a bit dark. Might have to add some photos of the underneath but the exhaust system the whole underneath is good really good um, and I'll get a bit of a line down down the 
fill there, so you might be able to see the fill. That's all good. And um, yeah, let's carry on going. It's got some nice chrome on it. Real nice. Heaps of chrome on the car. And uh, not a lot of dents. Oh, this mirror here comes with the mirror, but it's got a crack in there. I noticed the crack. The aerial's inside too. Um, further along. Now, these wheels here, I'd started to clean them up a bit with um, uh, soap steel o page, but you know, not clean at all. It's got all the mud flaps, pretty few mud flaps. Don't get under here, but too, you can see under here. It's all good. Um, just put it around here. It's got the balance, that's what they call it. All the other bits inside, headlights, and that. Yeah, it looks a bit odd without the, the awesome grill and the beautiful bumper on it. That's what it looks like. Bonnet's been started to be prepped for painting. The whole car needs to be sanded and sanded back, you know, painted whatever colour you like. But thanks to um, City Shore, I found out it was uh, this colour, Icon Gold. Um, I might as well show the engine, but we'll come back to this. Oh, I'll, keep, I'll do that later. This side here. It's all good. Up under the arches. Someone wanted to see up the arches. So. It's all nice. Under there. Now I'll see if I can go down and get the whole silver. That side. That's all good. Nice and straight. And it does need a few bits of retention. Of course, it's a project car. It's not. It's um not brand new, but it's a good project. Very good project. Let's carry on going. The uh, back seat. Now the door cards are inside. It it doesn't have the um, window winding mechanism mechanism and motor, but I will provide that. My friend is parting out a whole one of these 1975 450 SE, and so um, I'll provide those window mechanism whatever you need. The back seat's awesome. Very comfortable. Got your headrest going on up there. This could actually be a wedding car, you know. Like, that's nice. Ladies like that, or guys too. Front of the back seats in great condition. Oh, the back of the front seat, sorry. They're all nice. It's got the the bends back all around. Got four of them. It's really comfortable. Really comfortable car. And, um, we'll get round to the front seat. Got all the door cards, everything you need for that inside. The, um, the ashtrays have never been used. They have ashtrays in those, and they will brand new. And um, yeah, it's very nice. I haven't cleaned the roof lining, the hood lining. That could come up really nice and white. It's got no rips or tears in it. None at all. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't want to add bleach to it and do anything, so I didn't. So, but that's in nice condition. As is everything else. It's got speakers in the back. I'll get to that too. Quite interested in that. Um, I was going to say. I oh, know, we'll go in this side. 
Oh, I've got the door handle for the passenger door. Another look on the back. So you just sing out if you want any questions answered, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. Front, uh, front is beautiful. I'll just jump in and have a look. Um, the speedos and miles. Found out it was built for the Asian market, which I presume includes Australia and New Zealand and uh, Asia. But it's missing a knob there. I couldn't find that, but it, there's a, some containers of stuff. And um, the hood release is there. The bonnet release. Quite firm to pull, but it does work. And I'm pretty sure that this is the lever. Yeah, that's all nice. There's no cracks whatsoever in the dashboard and the dash pad. That's all beautiful. It's um immaculate. This is up here. It's got a mirror in that one. But now to the areas of improvement required. Uh, unfortunately, there's a stone chip right there. Now, Novus could fix that, um, or you could uh, see my mate and um, we're dismantling a whole car and get the um, get a replacement screen or a spare screen. I'll show you the engine in a minute. So that's the car. Um, we'll just go once more around there. Um, all the bits there. All the doors line up all nice and true. No, everything lines up. It's got a few um, factory options. And um, yeah, that's the worst bit of the. That really detracts from the whole car, that. I hate it. That, that little tip, the rest of the exhaust system is mint. So, oh, it's got no door handle here, but I'll open the front passenger's door so you can have a look from the passenger side. Stay open for me. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yeah. The passenger's door. Yes, it does have the uh, quite a big bit of the window winding mechanism. But like I say, I'll sort that out. My friend is dismantling a whole car. And I'll provide that for both the passenger and the rear door. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful inside. And, um, Got the key, of course. Uh, speedo goes to 160 miles per hour. Not sure how fast the car goes, but pretty powerful. And it reads, um, you know, you can see that 110,000 miles, which is 177,000 kilometers. And so, um, I'll do it in bits, but I'll come back to the next bit in a second. This car has been well loved all its life, I would say. It's, uh, like I say, it's a smoke-free car. It was being a member of the Mercedes-Benz Owners Club of New Zealand. Um, it was a member of the AA. The AA badge is Mano 2351, but that does not come with the car. I'm keeping that for my Falcon Newt project, but the Mercedes-Benz Owners Club badge does come with the car. So, there we go. A good project. A really good project. It's a. It's a. Um, I'll just explain a couple of things to people. I love how it goes like this. The, the flat of the boot. 
follows that line around there. And that's beautiful. But um, 450 stands for 4.5 litre. Well, actually, at 4,520 cc's. S is um, Supreme, I think, is under class or superior. E is the German word for injection, and it's mechanical fuel injection. So there's no big computerized electronics or anything like that. The windows are slightly tinted. And yeah, oh well, back soon. I got asked about the footwells. Um, that's why we're here. The footwells, I took the mats out so you can see. They're all good. Where's gold? Let's show the front one. Gonna take the mat out. Under here. Slow, so if you want to swap it, stop it, you can at any point. This is on my phone, this one. My camera was a bit cheeky. So, so the rear. And that's good as gold. There's the hump back there. Oh, the back seat is incredibly good, except for there's one small tear right, right there, which is totally repairable. That's a bit of a disappointment, but you can fix that. And the front foot well, the rubber mat, and then. Um, I'd be interested to know if, the, if everyone's bidding and please don't bid if you don't want to buy it like if you bid you're bidding to own it but um, the stereo I presume that's factory stereo I've got no idea what all these buttons do but it takes a tape a cassette tape not a CD so if someone could bring a cassette tape with them I'd love to know what their stereo sounds like oh and these are good Okay, well, back in a sec with a bit more, and these are good. Okay.